Hi guys, and welcome back. Today I am working on this little watercolor painting and I want to talk a bit about finding new inspiration. This is something that I, I talk a lot about because it's a problem that I have and I haven't really resolved it, but I, I find little ways to get a little bit better of a handle on this problem that I have. And it's been slowly working. <laughs> and I found a little, a little thing for me to focus on and I just want to talk a bit about it, but, but yes, I want to talk about finding new inspiration in really little mundane details in your life. And, uh, that is something that is very readily available. I think for a lot of us is that there's a lot of inspiration that feels really big things like movies that we absolutely love and they have really beautiful visuals and plots and characters and they're fully fleshed out or books that we just fall in love with. And I think that there's a lot of inspiration that can be found in very small little moments in our life. And I think that oftentimes we look past those things. We think that we need to be finding it from a bigger source. And that's kind of how I feel. I or have felt, <laughs> I felt like I, I need to have these big moments of clarity and inspiration and passion for what I'm about to paint. And sometimes I think that I'm, I'm overlooking some really valuable resources to help me feel that, that same energy and drive and excitement to work on a piece when it can come from very small things that happen all the time in my life. And this original painting, which I just titled Tea Time, is available at my shop. There's a link in the description if you'd like to give her a new home. And she's actually going to be one of the three stickers for Patreon for this month. So if you'd like to get a sticker of her, the only way to do that is to make sure to sign up by the end of this month. So the very last day, if you sign up for the sticker pack tier or the print tier over on my Patreon, you will get her and the other stickers. And if you do the print tier, you also get the print as well of the month. But <laughs> But yeah, let's get back to, to talking about the topic. I think that there's something about feeling like you want to do something different for the sake of creating something different. Um, I, I do that a lot where I feel like I've made something that is very reminiscent of other things that I've done in the past, which makes sense. That's where my my joy comes from. So I feel like I need to do something different so that it's just different. I am putting more unique things out there. But I think that the real key for my own happiness with making artwork is finding ways to feel reinvigorated and re-inspired by similar things. Because those similar things are the things that time and time again I find inspiration in. But but anyways, today what I'm working on, this little painting, it's very it's very simple where the little spark of inspiration came from and that's just tea time. <laughs> uh, I think it was maybe a month or two back I did another piece that was inspired by like tea time feelings and I loved it. It was so immersive to work on a piece that connected to something that I had a really positive emotional connection with in my everyday life. I I love sitting down and having a warm cup of tea in the mornings and the evenings and giving myself an environment that feels truly comfortable and cozy. I like to light little candles and sip on my hot my hot tea and relax and have a fuzzy blanket and all of those experiences and elements that create that experience build together to give me a certain emotional feeling that I can take away from that kind of experience. And that was something that I hadn't really thought much about as far as putting into my artwork. There are so many experiences and emotions and feelings in my life that I enjoy and appreciate. And just finding that and then putting it into my artwork is such a natural progression taking that joy that I do feel in life that feels like it's totally separated and disconnected from artwork and then turning it into art just feels so perfectly natural once I did it. <laughs> and the idea of sitting down and just making that tea time specifically, the concept of a painting sounds really 
really simple, like this really small detail to turn into something that's supposed to be really passionate and exciting, but it was, and I, it was kind of an eye opener that, that in this moment I could take something very simple like that and turn it into something else that I love, that I like the process of, that it made me feel ready to keep working on that painting. That, that opened my eyes to all the other options and things and details in my life that I could start looking at and picking apart and taking away to turn into artwork. So another thing that's personal for me, but, but when it's rainy out and kind of cold, kind of chilly, and it has that overcast cloudy quality to the light, I love days like that. It makes me feel so cozy in my house, but also like there's an adventure waiting to happen right around the corner. I love the mood of it and the lighting. And that's something that I can start dissecting and breaking down for different elements that I can put into my artwork. So I could take inspiration specifically from how the sky looks, that gray quality, the haziness of it. I could turn that into a watercolor painting that has some really beautiful wet on wet washes and has that atmosphere that I'm looking for. I could also go a different path and try to channel that, that cozy quality that I have when I'm inside and I'm wearing something warm and I'm watching the rain outside and seeing how chilly and cold it is, but I myself feel warm and comfortable, I could try to create a piece that exemplifies that feeling, that emotion. And there's just so many little details that once I start thinking about it, I could really break apart and turn into its own piece or its own flavor for a piece that I might already be working on. And that I think is the real beauty of looking for inspiration in these really mundane moments in your life is that you can take this little tiny element of it, say it's the the coloring of the sky or like the sunset, the colors of the sunset, you can take that and apply it to a piece that, that may not be a sunset, it could be a character, but you could take that detail that gave you inspiration, that gave you a sense of wonder when you looked at the sunset, and apply that to a painting that you're working on and then it infuses that that joy that you have in life into your piece and i've been i've been putting this into practice a little bit more and it just feels so connected it makes me feel like when i'm just living my life i'm living my life through the lens of an artist more than i have in the past which i want i want that feeling of feeding my soul to feed my artwork. And, and I love that. I love being able to analyze different situations and different emotions and different feelings and turn that into this fuel that I can use for my artwork. Like for this painting and this inspiration of tea time, there are so many new avenues I could go down. I, find a lot of joy in finding new little old antique teacups that I can use. And there's just like this mystery to it, this antique quality of where have these these items been, who used them. That's another element that I could just really run wild with. I could create different characters based on different types of teacups or really mysterious paintings that uh, that feed into china sets, teacups, it's just, it opens up this whole world of of things that I could research, like what teacups look like, different patterns, different uh, ways that they can break or be repaired if they do. And there's just so much more resources out there that I could start digging into if I really wanted to expand my own vision and horizons with what I can do with artwork. And I think that that's, that's something that I would really like to get better at. I tend to get very single-minded with the way that I work on things. I, I kind of put blinders on sometimes where I just, I just work on the thing and I get it done. And then I start a new piece and I work on it and get it done. And I would love to be able to do more research on things that I can bring into my work and spark new things, new things that I can think about while I'm painting.
And don't forget this original painting is available at my shop. There's a link down in the description that'll take you over there. And she is one of the three Patreon stickers for the month. So make sure to sign up for the sticker pack tier or the print tier by the last day of the month if you'd like to get her as a sticker. And I want to give a massive thank you to all of my patrons. You guys are absolutely amazing for all of the support that you show me. I can't thank you enough for that. So thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time.